Hello and welcome to the third video of the patient communications walkthrough. This video is going to discuss and go over the online scheduler for appointments. We'll be discussing how online appointments will be approved, mapping services to the portal for online appointments, how to direct patients and staff to the portal, using the online scheduler, and checking for any appointments that are made online in MyVision Express. The first thing we're going to go over is how appointments are going to be approved once they're made on the online portal. To see how these can be done, we're going to go back to File, Setup, and our company information again. In here, we're going to go back to our System tab and the other settings on the right-hand side. From these options, we're going to scroll down to our portal. In here, we're going to have an option specifically for appointments. If we open the tree, it's going to show us that we have some different options that we can play with. We can set when the cancellation is going to occur, creation by new and existing patients, and if they're asking to reschedule. For all of these four options, you're going to be able to rather have them check it automatically, or it will have to be approved by a staff member in the office. All four of these will have the same option to have it done automatically or to wait for approval. Additionally, you can set how far in advance appointments can be made in the portal. Once you've made your choices, go ahead and make sure that you save. Our next step is to say which appointments patients are going to be able to make online. To set this up, we are going to go to File, Inventory, and select our services. This is going to show the list of your existing inventory for your exam charges and services. And what we'll need to do is decide which ones you want patients to make an appointment for. For this example, we will set our contact lens exam for existing patients. So to open up the options, I can rather double click on the line or select it and hit the modify button on the right. Once we have our modify window open, we need to do two things specifically. First, you have to make sure that the box next to online is selected. This is the only way it will be active in the portal. Next, we have a drop down menu directly below this labeled portal appointment type mapping. This is going to give you a list of options. So what you want to do is try to find the closest related option to what you are going to be mapping. Since some of your services may have procedure codes or different uh, codings in there, it may not necessarily be the best option for users to see. So what you have here are a list of what the patients will be reading. Any options that you've chosen in previous services are going to be highlighted in red. They are not going to be able to use for be used for more than one service. So we select our corresponding option. And once we've done so, we hit OK. Do this as many times as you need to allow for the patients to select multiple options for services. Once you get done, close the window. Once you have everything set up in MyVision Express, now you can start directing patients to the portal to either register, log in as an existing user, or schedule an appointment with or without logging in. To get there, we are going to go to the following sites. As a patient, they are going to need to go to my.mveportal.com slash patients slash whatever your four or five digit account number is. From here, patients can request an appointment with the button at the bottom that says Schedule an Appointment. From here, you can go ahead and rather begin typing in the address if known, or just type in the zip code. You can then search, and you'll be able to select the location. Once you have the location, choose the Selection button which will begin a prompt asking if they've been to the office before. 
once you've made your selection for either yes or no, it's going to say why they're coming in. This ties back to the mappings that we've done for our services inventory. Based on what you've selected there and mapped, you will then have the list here to choose from that list. We'll say for this example, a contact lens follow-up. Your next option will be to rather select a doctor, or if you only have one, it will automatically default to that doctor. From here, the patient can select a good day. Let's go ahead and select Thursday, the 22nd of September. When we do so, based on the calendar options, it's going to show you what times are available. They can go ahead, select the corresponding time. When you scroll down, if they haven't logged in and registered, they can go ahead and start entering their information. Anything that is marked with a red star means that it is a required field. Everything else without it will be optional. From there, they simply need to hit the send the request button, and then you will see it in My Vision Express. To check if we have any appointments pending, should we have chosen to wait for approval, we're going to need to go directly into the calendar from My Vision Express. Once here, you're going to see a button in the top right portion of the window that's going to say Pending Requests. When you select this, you're going to have the option to rather see the waitlist or if you notice the other tab, we can check on any existing online requests. Should there be any pending, you're going to see the patient's name and the rest of the information as far as when they want the appointment to happen or when this was created. If you wish, you have the option to either approve or deny this request. Selecting approve will create the appointment in My Vision Express's calendar for you. If you deny it, it'll send a letter directly back to the patient with the email they have registered as, and it'll let them know that the appointment was denied, at which point the email can direct them to request a rescheduled appointment that better suits the office. Should you have any pending requests, the button here will have a red dot on it very similar to the employee messaging in My Vision Express. Your patients are only going to have one way to access the portal. However, as staff, users are going to have three different ways. If you wish, you can go to the site below my.mveportal.com, followed by your account number. This will prompt you to a login page where you can use your employee username and password to log in to the portal. Additionally, you're able to log in directly from My Vision Express just by logging into the program. To do this, you need to go to File, Setup, and to the Communications button. And last but not least, we can access the portal again as a website from Tools to Web Links down to Portal. Going here, we'll open another instance of the website where you can enter your username and password as an employee and log in to My Vision Express to view the portal here. Once you log into the portal, you will automatically be shown the dashboard. From here, you can take a look at some of the configuration options to customize your portal. Some notable ones for the scheduler are taking a look at the appointments. These are ones that have been scheduled already. Additionally, by going to the next option, we can change some of the settings that can be selected when you're in the services inventory. This is going to be the list that you will be able to choose from. From here, if you wish to add to that list, you can simply select New, give it a name,
The other options are selecting how long this appointment will be. We'll say 45 minutes. And then here you can decide if it applies to either new patients, existing patients, or both. Additionally, if you do want this to be a selection, make sure that the active box is checked off. Once you are done, go ahead and save. You'll notice that that has now been added to our list to choose from. If we were to go back and see the services inventory, this will then be a selection that we can map for any of our options. Feel free to explore the other options to see what other kind of personalizations that you can use. Should you have any questions, please be sure to visit our support team at the information listed here.